First Timothy chapter 6 and verse 12. And while you're going there, I want to, want to remind you of something very important that we must understand that as believers, we are engaged in a battle. And it's the battle of faith. It's the battle of faith. You must understand that we are a people of faith. We do not walk by what we see. We do not walk by what we can hear, what we feel. But we walk purely by faith. We live by faith. We move by faith. Everything about us is by faith. If you go to Hebrews, the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, the great hall of faith, you find the Bible continuously echoes those words, by faith, by faith, by faith. So you must understand that you are an individual of faith. And this morning, I want to share with you about the law of the lines of making a comment. This is the title of my message, is the word of encouragement to someone this morning. You know, as I was preparing the God of Scripture, I said, Lord, then you speak to me. He says, no, you also need to speak to my people. Because somebody needs this word to make a comment because God is still in control. Come on, somebody. God is still in control despite circumstances, despite what's happening in your life, despite what's happening around you. God is still in control. And come and talk to me. He is in control of the situation. He is in control. So he tells you, 
The story is wonderful. God can still tell the story of Abraham. Hallelujah. Because he can still crown you with glory. There's still glory for your story. Come and say it with me. There's still glory for my story. Oh, come on, somebody. There's still glory for my story.
in order to develop the history. So you see, you can never say that you know, Some may say, oh, I was waiting for 80. No, what about David? David was a young shepherd boy. He went to a face of the giants that an entire nation, an entire army was afraid of. The David went in the name of the Lord of hosts. God was with him. God gave him the victory. Here to tell you, God is with you. God will give you victory. Say amen to that. Amen. As a child of God, you do not be tired, you be fire. You see, tired. What? You understand the use of words. Power of life and death in the time. The use of words. You know, people say, I'm going to be tired. I don't know. I will not be tired. I am not going to be tired. I will not be tired. I refuse to be tired. Because what you say, when I say, what does it mean to be right? To be right. To be right means to write again. Not so. You be right what has been written before, but you write it again. Now, if I say be tired, I'm saying, I've always been tired, so I'll continue to be tired. You see that? I need tired. I, I, I'm tired. That's why you find people that say, I'm never tired. Why? Because they're tired of work. So they need tired. So you finish tired yourself out of your life. Now you come to your work. Where are you supposed to be having your problems? Now you say, I'll be tired. So you take the tired sword and all of them to the grave. A child of God does not be tired. A child of God be fires. Because I've been in the fire. And I've always been on fire for God. Now I'm even going to be more on fire for God. Because the end of my story is going to be greater than my beginning. My life will talk to me. My life will be greater than my life will talk to me. Hallelujah.
Thank you, Lord God. Yes, Lord. 